So you want to be a Java developer in the concrete jungle of the tech world? Good for you. Java's everywhere like pigeons and bad smells, but unlike those, Java actually pays the bills. But listen up, getting a Java developer job, that's not a walk in Central Park. It's more like navigating the subway at rush hour, crowded, competitive, and full of surprises. And if you think just knowing how to sling some code is enough, honey, you're in for a rude awakening. These days, everyone and their grandma is learning to code. To stand out, you gotta bring something extra to the table. And that's something extra, Java security. Java's the building block of tons of applications, from your banking apps to those dating apps you've been using, no judgment. But every building, no matter how fancy, needs security, right? Otherwise, you're just asking for trouble. And that's where you come in, my friend. You're the digital bouncer, the cyber guard dog, the, you get the idea. The point is, Java security skills are in high demand. Companies are willing to pay top dollar for developers who can keep their systems safe from the digital bad guys. So, if you're looking for a Java job that's both challenging and rewarding, security is the way to go. All right, you're convinced about Java security. Great, but what does that even mean in terms of an interview? What kind of questions are they gonna throw at you? The Java security interview is like a four-headed Cerberus guarding the gates of employment. Each head represents a key area of Java security. This is about ensuring the right users access the right stuff. Think of it like getting past the velvet rope at a trendy club. You need to prove you are who you say you are and have permission to be there. The Java cryptography API is for encrypting and decrypting data. It's like a secret code language for authorized users. This one's about how your Java code interacts with the outside world, but it's a prime target for hackers. Last but not least, we have the networking API. This is how your Java applications talk to each other over a network. It's like the postal service of the digital world. You might be thinking, okay, security is important, but is it really that big of a deal? Let me tell you, it's a bigger deal than finding an apartment in this city with rent under $2,000. See, Java is everywhere. It's the backbone of countless websites, applications, and systems we rely on every single day. We're talking banks, hospitals, government institutions, the whole shebang. Now imagine what would happen if those systems weren't secure. Hackers could drain your bank account faster than you can say overdraft fee. They could access your medical records and hold your health information hostage. They could even shut down critical infrastructure, causing chaos and mayhem. We're talking about a real life digital apocalypse here, people. Okay, maybe I'm being a tad dramatic, but the point is, Java security is not something to be taken lightly. It's about protecting our privacy, our finances, our safety, and even our democracy. No pressure, right? Section four, prepping for the Java security interview. No sweat, just study. All right, enough doom and gloom. Let's talk about how to ace that Java security interview. First things first, preparation is key. Start by brushing up on the basics. Read up on common security vulnerabilities and how to prevent them and practice your coding. There's nothing more impressive than being able to whip up a secure solution on the fly. It's not just about what you know, it's also about how you think. Interviewers wanna see that you can analyze a problem, identify potential risks, and come up with creative solutions. So don't be afraid to talk through your thought process. And remember, honesty is the best policy. It's better to admit you don't know and be willing to learn than to try to BS your way through it. Section five, Java security resources, your secret weapons. Don't worry, you don't have to go into this battle unprepared. There are tons of resources out there to help you level up your Java security game. Think of them as your secret weapons in the fight for that dream job. First up, we've got the internet. Websites like Stack Overflow, GitHub, and OWASP are treasure troves of information on Java security. You'll find everything from code examples to vulnerability databases to expert advice. It's like having a million little mentors in your pocket, minus the awkward small talk. If you prefer something a little more old school, there are plenty of books on Java security as well. Look for titles from reputable publishers like O'Reilly and Pact. These books can provide a more in-depth look at specific security topics and often come with practice exercises and code samples. And don't forget about online courses and certifications. Platforms like Udemy, Coursera, and even Oracle offer courses specifically on Java security. These can be a great way to gain practical skills, get certified, and boost your resume. 
Section six, level up your Java security game. So there you have it, everything you need to know to conquer the Java security interview and land that dream job. Remember, it's not just about memorizing facts and figures, it's about understanding the why behind the what. Why is security important? What are the real world implications of a security breach? How can you use your skills to make a difference? The more you learn about Java security, the more you'll realize it's not just a job, it's a calling. You're not just writing code, you're building digital fortresses. You're not just fixing bugs, you're protecting people's lives. And that's a pretty awesome feeling. Section seven, Java security. It's not just a job, it's a lifestyle. Listen, nobody's saying you have to turn into some kind of cybersecurity superhero overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a secure Java application. The key is to start somewhere. Keep learning and never stop asking questions. The world of Java security is constantly evolving. New threats emerge every day, which means there's always something new to learn. Embrace the challenge, stay curious, and never underestimate the power of a well-placed semicolon. Now go out there and show them what you're made of. The future of Java security is in your hands. Don't screw it up. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please show some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video or if you have any questions. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends who might find it useful. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel for more tech tips and tutorials. I'm aiming to hit 50k subscribers by December and your support means the world to me. Let's work together to make it happen. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.